I left it far too long to film an empties video so this is part two of my empties video because otherwise that bitch was going to be a long video um but if you didn't watch part watch part one my name's Natasha and welcome to my garbage rubbish bin whatever you want to call it I've had a brown put on my roots so now I want different things for my dry shampoo but when I was pink and lavender or blonde at my roots or whatever what I wanted from a dry shampoo was I didn't really mind that it was that if it cast a little bit of a white shadow on my hair because my hair wasn't dark so I didn't really see it and what I wanted is something to mop up that grease I've got greasy hair and the last thing I wanted was to continue with that greasy hair so I've tried virtually all the dry shampoos I could be it Paul Mitchell be it mum and baby from cousins be it um like anyone that I can find in the shops I've tried Tresme rubbish um yeah I've tried quite a few there was one from the purple shampoo people that I buy that I used to buy my purple shampoo from that I can't remember the name of and that just splurted all this white crap all over my outfits every time I did it so I gave up on that one so this is the Aussie Miracle Dry Shampoo Mega Instant for Normal Greasy Hair um, it wasn't the cheapest of dry shampoos it smells quite nice as all Aussie products do but I was left to be disappointed with this it didn't really do a lot if you've got quite dark hair and you want just something to just judge and revive a bit rather than get rid of the grease or help with the grease then some of these might help you but this one didn't do the job for me another one that didn't do the job for me really was the vf5 plump it up um this one did kind of give a little bit more oomph to my hair i would say um it had a really quite a nice strong spray on it um i don't really remember it leaving sort of the white cast on my hair but it was just okay, a bit meh, not really, didn't really love it, didn't really hate, hate it, but it definitely, I probably wouldn't bother buying it again. Maybe if it was on offer and I was desperate. And then I heard like rave reviews about this collab thing from Ruth Crilly, but to be honest, the rave reviews were from YouTubers who were probably her friends. But people like go on about how much they love it, and I didn't. Now admittedly this is just the dry shampoo one and there is a dry shampoo with volume one that's supposed to do both. Um, but it just, it's one of the invisible ones, it'd be great for you with dark hair. So I, I appreciate that maybe it's not suited for me that well. I picked up New York because I love the colouring of it and they do have, and it's a fruity smell and I like fruit smells. But for me with fair hair and greasy hair that wants it to get rid of the grease, it didn't do it. And I think that's because I need something that's stronger and more powdery. These sheer ones don't do anything for me. Then we have the Batiste Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. Um, I know some people don't like Batiste because it has that white stuff on it. They do do the brunette and blonde and whatever, so the more coloured ones that would be better for different people. But I happen to love this dry shampoo. I think it works. It works well, it's the best. So the tropical one, which I really love the smell of, it's probably my favourite, and I will buy this one again and again. As a blonde, it does what I want it to do. It soaks up that grease, and it means that actually I can go more than every other day with this. I can um, push that wash that little bit longer. And then I tried this one, which is Neon Lights, with the pomegranate and jasmine smell. It's quite a nice smell, don't get me wrong, but I still prefer the tropical scent because that's just something that I prefer. But it works in the same way. I will definitely buy and have bought more Batistes, but um, I try other scents, but I think I'll always come back to the tropical. It is the best for me and my hair. Um, a little mini Hydroloran 5ml that I got in a box. I love Hydroloran. Um, and I notice a difference when I don't use it. It obviously helps stuff get into my skin as it's designed to. It's a good little vehicle, I need more of this. Next up I've got a hand cream, which you can't see what it is, but you will see that I do like it because I've already got another one here. And this is the Crabtree and Evelyn, <laughs> Crabtree and Evelyn Hand Therapy Collection La Sauce. It's an intensive conditioning hand cream um, and it really is a good hand cream and it does what it says. As you can see, I've wound this little bit up into, into nothing and got every last drop out of it. Um, it, I had two of these, one in my handbag, one on my desk. It lasts for ages, but it's a really strong, intense hand cream. Not strong in scent, but strong in moisturising scents. 
It's a really good hand cream. I recommend it to a lot of people. I've tried a couple of other hand creams that I don't think have made it into my empties that have been rubbish and I come back to this one every time. So um, I do really like this hand cream. It's a, it's a good one. I think it may have been in a favourites video of mine previously. We're getting there. While we're on moisturising type products, I've used up a Laura Mercier Body and Bath Fresh Fig Body Butter. I like figs and it smells of figs and it smells nice. But I don't think that it is as good a moisturiser that um, that is worthy of the price tag that it has. Laura Mercier stuff are not cheap. And I really like like their foundation primer and some other Laura Mercier products I've tried. But I don't really rate this body butter. I just, I thought it was alright. I'm not sure that it's worth the money in my opinion. I know there are people that love it and I'm sorry if you're offended by that. But yeah, I wouldn't pay the money for it. Um, oh, here's another sort of moisturising type thing. This is Prima Harmony Moisturising Soothe Smoothie <laughs> Serum. Um, I got this in a birch or glossy box. And it was a really nice serum. And I think it was, it was moisturising. The Harmony range are moisturising without being too oily or greasy. They work really well for oily skin. And I definitely would buy this and the moisturiser from the Harmony range. The, um, I like them a lot and I think, I don't know if it's the lemongrass oil or what, but it works well on combo skin and just oily skin really, it's a good product. I used up the Dermalogica Skin Prep Scrub from a little collection thing that I had and it was okay. I, I would rather exfoliate using a chemical toner, more chemical exfoliants rather than gritty bits, but it was okay. I don't think, I, w I wouldn't purchase it again. There's other ones that work better for me and my skin, but I kind of enjoyed using it. I don't know. I like Dermalogica products, just not particularly that one. There were a couple of these, and this is the Lizzle Cleanse and Polish. I've got a couple more still on the go. I like it. I'm a fan of hot cloth cleansers. I find that they cleanse better. They remove more of the dead skin than just splashing and whatever. So I'm always a fan of a flannel, even if I'm not using like these balmy ones I, I use a, a flannel to remove even like more lighter foamy kind of washes you know what I mean standard washes this is nice my skin kind of likes it it's sort of moisturizing smells okay I wouldn't rush out to buy more only because I have a couple more I've got a few more like 50 mil sized ones and things to be used I've been using a soap and glory one that I've had for ages and I think it does pretty much the same thing as this. And I wanted just a couple of makeup things. First up was this little hourglass um, liquid lipstick thing in canvas. This little tiny one that I bought at the Sephora Till checkout, whatever you want to call it. It's really tiny. It dried out so quickly. Really awful packaging. You can't get any out even though there's stuff in there. It dried out quickly. It was an alright colour but I think... There are other brands that work just as well and have more of a range. So I don't think I would buy that again. I was really disappointed. I think I've got like only really got three uses out of it before I couldn't get any more out of it. Piss poor packaging. Um, you know, the packaging looks nice, but it isn't functional enough. It's a bit rubbish. So disappointed with that. Would go with the Kat Von D's or the Sephora Zone over the top of those. Uh, you know, over those. Um, I've got a natural collection. Uh, clear mascara I just used to use this for setting my brows and then I've had it going for quite a while um, it does go a little bit crispy but it's a good bargain I think it was like a pound one pound fifty so it's good if you're looking for something to just put over the top of your brows to set it um, I'm currently using the L'Oreal one I can't remember what it's called um, I've got the clear one of that in one of my boxes and I like it it doesn't go crispy this one might do a little bit but if you're on a budget this does exactly what you want. I've got a Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in Nudist. And, oh, it's still got a little bit left. There's a tiny little knob left there. I didn't realise. Okay, I'll use that. I love these. They smell lovely. They're vanilla-y. They're glossy. They're easy to wear. Like a really, like, neutral colour. Love this. Um, and I already have another one. And um, I've got the pink one. I can't remember what colour that is. I wear them a lot, they're great for in your handbag, you don't need a mirror, chuck it on, glossy lips, nice, done. So yes, I would recommend those. And the final item is this Kat Von D Immortal Lash Mascara. 
I would not recommend this and I'm sad to say that but I would not recommend it because I couldn't try it because when it arrived it was bone dry and I've tried to heat it up and everything but nothing really happens. There have been a couple that have been bought and the one I got from my friend didn't have any black in it, it was just dry, as in at least you can see there's been some product on this brush, it just dried out. Um, I'm really disappointed, it's crap. Anyway, yay my bag is empty! Thank you for watching and having a look through my rubbish. Um, if you have any difference of opinions or if you think it's maybe the way I've been using something's why I don't like it or why I do like it, I'd love any interaction to hear from you what you do and don't like. Let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.